Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for Sentinel's Reabout line, Shin Getter 1. Finally got this. I think it got delayed and I got this through AmiAmi Ami and I think the pre-orders are closed right now. Well, it's released but um, it's kind of hard to get into right now. Also, it's one of those hefty or has a hefty price tag. Uh, looking around 350 so that's that's quite a bit yeah <laughs> and uh, this is actually a really massive figure um, compared to the other um, well compared to the SRC Shingetter which I have I think it only goes up to the waist in comparison to this definitely it is a huge figure comparable to the Mazin Kaiser all right so here we go this is actually well this is the front Although you can say that this could be the back. It doesn't have a sleeve on this. It's like a windowed box. On to the back here. Uh, bear with me. It, it is a huge box. Got some line art there. And here, I'm not sure what happened here, but it looks blared to me. <laughs> the rendition of the front of the box. It's kind of messed up. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, there is lettering of Shin Getter here. It's kind of hard uh, to see this. But uh, there is some Shin Getter 1 in front. But this side is just messed up. Uh, same on the side panel line art there. And let's see what here on top. The name. And... That's probably going to be some jargon on the bottom. Yep. So, uh, there you go. It's all that stuff there. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for the box. Let's take a look inside. Alright, we're going to get our typical Sentinel base right there. We got our instruction booklet here. And same thing. Uh, the Maybe that is intentional. That it's kind of distorted or unfocused. Hmm. Those are things we've uh, seen on the box art. Inside, kind of give you an idea of par parts count, how it is uh, installed. You get the backpack there, you get the wings. Oh, look at the detail. Some instructions, watch out for the pointy things. Ah, interesting. So I'm going to have to go through here. What is that marking? I wonder if that's going to be scratch up or something. Hmm. And uh, we have uh, some of the weapons here. Well, some, I think good info here. Okay, right and left. Oh, you could swap out with a freaking spike on the shoulder. Actually, that is where the, the handle is, isn't it? That's where he gets his weapon from the shoulders. But uh, some cool poses that we can try. I'll, I'll attempt. <laughs> Can't promise much. Is that it? Yep, that is it for the instruction booklet. Alright. Alright, so let's start first. What's the height of this guy? We're, we got about, I would say about nine and a quarter up to the shoulder. Uh, metric wise, I would say about 23 and a half centimeters. Roughly around there. You now, because uh, rulers have a little bit of extra at the end, give or take. Nine inches, that's quite a big figure. Now it does have die cast, I can feel it, uh, especially when I'm touching the legs here, uh, even the soles, yeah. especially that bottom side there, that is die cast, really nice, now for the arm, um, not at all, uh, chest, a little bit I guess, sometimes it, it's kind of tricky because it feels like die cast but it's just hard plastic. Yeah, I think it's the mostly on the bottom side here. Yeah, that's die cast the whole foot. A lot of die cast there. But uh top side not so much, which is not too bad because you don't want this to be top heavy either. And uh the paint app is amazing. I like the two-tone or actually almost three-tone. We got the really nice uh bright red, and I already got a ding here. Oh, so maybe some jump paint. <laughs> So you get that really nice bright red, uh, kind of like polished here. Then you get your matte red. Then there's another 
uh, matte red in there too. So it's like three tones. You can see down the arms as well, or the yeah, the poor arm. Nice gunmetal here. You can actually move that out, which is quite nice. Got the metallic green. Got that inner uh, parts there. Quite nice. Yeah, just a really detail. Even the chest. That is amazing. Then you get the head area there. Get the jewel right on its forehead. Quite nice. And more metallic paint. Yeah, this thing is really decked out with details. Especially on the back too. Look at that. Amazing. I also like that gold that they use. Alright, so that's pretty much looking at the details in paint. Now, uh, if you want to mount this guy, why don't we talk about that real quick here. You got two. So, here we go. Now, I think this one is just to make him taller, especially for flight pose or aerial poses. Then you got the one just short. So, let's give this a try. Kind of forgot how to use it. Okay, there we go. There's no lock. Then it will just mount this way. Should this go like this? There we go. Now this one actually mounts on his back, and there's a secret uh, panel right underneath. So this is one of the backpack that uh, you don't need the wings. So you just push this up. There we go. There's going to be a little pocket there that matches well with this. And this one is not tall enough. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of wide boat. There we go. I'm going to push that in. There. So we may have to kind of do a really, I know this is kind of weird. And I forgot to remove this. So we'll, we'll go for the uh, for that pose for now. But yeah, that is amazing. But uh, most likely you're probably gonna be using this. Anyways, that's that. Let's go over articulation. I'm not a fan of the diecast uh, joints, although you kind of need it. Kind of gives half to the figure, gives that quality feel. But when it's too stiff, that is a problem. <laughs> for me, I, I like to bust my fingers. That's why I like Riobot. But sometimes so uh, when they go heavy with the diecast parts, you know, it's a, it's a balance. And hopefully this one works out well. I think from what I recall, for Mazin Kaiser had a problem with the shoulder. Although this one doesn't, or well, has big shoulders, hopefully it doesn't have that same issue. Anyways, uh, moving on, we have the head here. Really nice. You got ball joint at the base of the head as well as the base of the neck there. You can move that white piece there. You can rotate as well. Got to be careful with the spikes, but uh, he can look up quite well. That's always a plus for figures. Look down, no problem. Side to side. There we go. Now for the shoulder, you got quite a bit. You got this whole giant shoulder joint. Even on the back side, uh, that thing collapses, which is always a plus. I like that. And uh, we see that with other Sentinel figures. Really great. Let's actually close that uh, panel down here. There we go. And uh, we'll swap out the backpack in a bit. But yeah, really nice. Now there is a gimmick. And while we're at it, let me see if I can pop this out. That's it might be a little tricky. It's one of those that uh, you gotta make sure you have long nails. All right, so I'm able to take this out. There we go, and uh, we have one of the spikes. And basically, this is like the tip of the weapon that comes out. So here we go. We can go ahead and attach this, like so. Uh, it, it does kind of look weird, you know, something jutting out of his uh, shoulder there, but 
It's one of the gimmicks. It's nice. I like it. All right, so uh, let's put this back. There is a little tab that's close to the neck. So we just got to make sure that lines up. There we go. And it's going to be the same for the other side. Now for the shoulder also, it's really cool when you're moving this up that this piece goes up as well. So you get that much uh, clearance. You can rotate this whole thing around, which is quite nice. Really great. Now, for in terms of uh, bicep swivel, nothing there. It's actually the bottom of the gold disc here. So this one, your elbow, you can rotate here. And it's double jointed actually. And this part here actually collapse inside. So that's really cool, giving you that much articulation. And uh, it's a little hollow underneath, but not too bad. So that is just a great articulation there. And you know, definitely do a lot of dynamic poses with that. I can think of one right now, but... <laughs> Yeah, definitely it, it's really nice now I had a problem with this one getting stuck so you just gotta take your time and just slowly kind of force now it's stuck again hold on let me make sure I get the yeah this one's a little stuck but it does go in I also noticed some kind of residue here I thought that was some paint mess up on the gold but uh, it turns out uh, I think it's probably some kind of glue they've used so that just wipe off easily just put some water now this wrist joint has a little bit of wiggle room there so that is good for later on I like that the abdomen area here I think there's a giant bull joint that can be seen somewhere in there so definitely that is great and rotate this around even uh, to the side and uh, we just got to be careful on this lip here. Now I believe this one can be detached. There's a separate uh, piece right here. And there is a tab. So that's how it's attached. Uh, let's see how well this thing's going to pop out. There we go. Hmm. And now we're going to attach this. So I, th I think he has a... Like a belly cannon there so that's really nice let's see here up crunch well it's mostly in this joint here but yeah definitely nice now this one does detach similar to other sentinel figures yep so the side skirts kind of move up and how is this attach uh, I guess on that side so this allows you to move this up to the side you can do a split I don't know if you can naturally move huh no I don't think you can can you move forward no you cannot move forward <laughs> you do have a tie swivel here but I don't think this is something that you can move forward So that's hmm, that's a little odd. Now sometimes you just gotta persevere. <laughs> Alright, so move this up again. And there is. So you, sometimes you gotta just kinda break in the joint. So I what I think initially I moved back, then I was able to free that joint, then I can move up. There we go. So we do have that articulation there and you get your tie and then for the knee there we go and that is some crazy knee bend so what's happening as you can kind of see even this one is kind of spring loaded the underside collapses that is some awesome engineering right there and actually before on sentinel figures that's like the really coolest thing when you do the knee bend yeah especially if you have the Gurren Logan 
that's one of the awesome uh, Sentinel figures. Kind of wish they make an upgraded version of that. Yeah, this is quite amazing. And looking at the details here, but this one seems like it's collapsed. Does it move? Oh, interesting. But again, nice details on the legs. Now for the ankles, you can move to the side. It's like a giant joint there, but you can do a wide stance. You can also move the heel. You got that extra flap there. Which in a way, um, I don't mind it. It kind of gives you a bit more surface area for the foot. Especially when you do a, a knee bend. I'm trying to do a knee bend, it's not letting me. There we go. So, that is great. Yeah, awesome figure so far. Uh, it's solid. Um, no issues yet. Well, hopefully, no issues. But, uh, yeah, really, really an awesome figure. I like it a lot more. Well, other than the size and how much more quality it is than the Super uh, Super Robot Jagokin. Now, I've seen features uh, from the promo, or what I've seen online. I don't have a feature version of this. The feature are quite expensive. And it's something that I'm trying to avoid because if I ever get one, more than likely, I want to collect them all. Yeah, so for moving on, we have the closed fist. We have the open hands here. We have this dynamic hands, quite amazing. And we have the weapon holding hands. Yep, nicely detailed. Now, why don't we go with the wings? All right, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and detach this. There we go. It's a one peg and a few tabs this is gonna be it attach it right there there we go make sure that is secure whoa it's got a thunder got a little storm here <laughs> oh wonderful anyways got the wing here now that is some crazy detail and unfortunately my light is reflecting too much but there's a uh, detail inside inside that uh, blue plastic that is amazing yeah similar to the uh, Mazin Kaiser so hmm interesting details I don't think there is a oh, I wonder why I have that is there a distinction between left and right? I think they're all the same. So we're gonna go ahead and attach this. There we go. All right, I wonder when's the next thunder gonna be approaching. <laughs> yeah, I mean, after one, you give me another, right? Oh boy. Well, at least we're getting the rain. Um, definitely needed here in California. We've been getting the drought lately. Alright, so that's the wings. Quite impressive. I like that. Uh, whoops. Uh, I have a feeling that's going to happen. I mean, the joints are holding fine, but just that really short peg. I'm kind of nervous about that. So, I guess when you're moving it, make sure you hold the, whole, the backpack as well. Don't want that to, to be detached. There you go. Really nice. Next part, um, why don't we try the weapons? Um, why don't we go with one hand first? Let's see how easy it is to swap this. Pop this out. Oh, straight peg. That is amazing. Gotta love straight peg. Alright. 
So we got that one hand right there. Now this one does come with, this is metal. The handle here, that is metal. Now you got the extra part here for the bottom. There we go. At the end, we got several weapons. Uh, one of which is the sight right here with spikes. We can uh, move this out. It's quite nice. And uh, this part here, I guess you cannot detach, but this part kind of like where the spiral thing comes out first and then before, I guess, it turns into this weapon. That's my guess. Uh, I haven't really watched the series. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I, I feel bad, but how can you say no to an awesome robot? It's a robot. Right, let me go attach this side here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and hold the side with two hands. See how well this is gonna work. May not be a bad idea to put the hands first before you attach them, but uh, uh, we'll see. All right. So uh, he can hold the. Oh, probably best to just have two, just for support. Oh, that is detachable there. <laughs> yeah, I should have just actually it's probably a lot easier to go here first uh, a little worried though whoa <laughs> that is just wonderful okay Yeah, I wonder if this is sharp. So, did I? Yeah, sometimes I'm, I'm kind of worried about just inserting it like this. That's why now I detached it. Great. All right, just bear with me. I got it. Attach this end here. There we go. Reattach the arms. See, sometimes the straight peg, it's great. But sometimes it could be an issue too. All right, so reattaching the arms. That makes me wonder if uh, I could reattach this to the other Sentinel figures, like Mazen Kaiser. All right. Now comes the fun part: attaching this. This does not contain diecast, which is great. But the side is ridiculously long. And I'm having a hard time getting it all the way. Not even seeing it. Alright. There we go. There's the side. It's quite long. And. There we go. Opens up. Quite amazing. Now there's another weapon, this thing right here, which we can uh, swap out, so uh, with extra care, trying to get this off, yeah, it's, so my concern now is, as I move this, gotta be careful not to topple that over. Now there's also a gimmick for this one. You can take this out and it becomes separate axes. Or just have one. So that's a really cool gimmick. I'm just gonna go ahead and attach this and have a, a pole axe. I think that's the name. That one went in quite easily. So uh, there you go. I think that's it. Uh, not much else on this uh, figure set. But in a way, I kind of like it the way it is not too much accessories because sometimes that's just really overwhelming too many gadgets I mean I don't mind it if they give us a lot of hands because those always give us you know, more gestures but weapon wise and accessory there's kind of like a good limit but yeah I mean this is just right for the Sentinel we bought Shin Gutter one and uh, why don't we put it back? Uh, I'm gonna go use the stand again and maybe try some poses. 
All right, so here we go. I have it on this post. Uh, the stand is holding quite well. It does take up quite a bit of space. And uh, let me just go over in the back here. You gotta be really careful though, because it's it's only holding that section again on the back. And you just gotta make sure that thing is secure in there. I'm kind of have it leaning on this butt right there. And depending on how you pose it, like this, you can hide the stand on the back. So as if it is actually flying in the air. Yep. So that is quite nice right there. And I think that's pretty much it for the review. I have to say this is a really nice figure. Coming out of Sentinel as always. And I definitely recommend getting it. Now it does have a hefty price point And you're getting to the point. Well. Should I just get a future? <laughs> that's going to be on you. But for me I'm a big fan of Sentinel. Hence why I pre-ordered this. And it's a really nice one to be honest. And hopefully the, with the new movie of the. Mazinger that there's gonna be a push for these uh, yeah, the getter series it, They're really great uh, robots and um, I, I kind of wish they make a, a new movie <laughs> To kind of just kind of boost them up They're really nice in terms of uh, design Anyways, that's about it for this review. Hope you guys like it. Uh, if you got questions, let me know And I think that's pretty much it. So until then this is Meads. Thanks for watching